Hey everybody, uh, my name is Doug Stevenson with the Firebase team. Welcome to Meet Firebase, where you get to meet the Googlers who make Firebase happen. Our guest tonight is with the Firebase cloud messaging team. He's a developer program engineer, and his name is Matt Gott. Matt, would you join me on the show? Thank you for having me. <laughs> great, to, uh, great to have you on the show. So uh, Firebase cloud messaging for web just launched. Tell me, how did that go? Yeah, it was great. Like, it was kind of interesting because it's the first time the Firebase SDK has been used in service workers, which is it's kind of a, a new thing in the web world at the moment where you can run JavaScript without the browser or the web page being open. It's been really great just working with the JavaScript team for Firebase and just figuring out how we can add this in and working with them and making sure everything works in this like new service worker environment. And everyone was just like, yeah, we need to do this. We need to get it landed. And everyone was just super helpful. It was great. This is our first time actually meeting in person. So the first time I saw you was with your video about FCM, Firebase Cloud Messaging for the web. Yes, um, one so more I wanna, viewer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, mark one. Yeah, <laughs> I want to ask you about that later. I've been living in the San Francisco Bay Area for a few years now. I moved here from Boston. But I understand you moved here from where? From London, from, UK. What, so that's a pretty big move. Um, uh, how's yeah. that going? Good so far. It's only been sort of three months, and it's, it's kind of like out of one fire into the other because we literally, I moved and then I started work on FCM, the, the web SDK side of things, almost immediately. Wow, get <laughs> we, right to work. Well, how have you been settling into the San Francisco Bay Area? Good so far. Like America and obviously it's English speaking country, it's not like when you go traveling or whatever else. It's, there's, there's only certain small cultural things that are different, but it's nice and doing lots of random things like San Francisco Zoo and seeing the red pandas there and different different things like that that probably if you lived here, you're like, oh my God, that's so touristy, it hurts. <laughs> when we talked last time, you mentioned that you were looking into uh, an activity called glamping. Yeah. Uh, that was the first time I had heard that <laughs> word. So tell me, what is what is glamping? So glamping, I, I think it's meant to be glamorous camping or glamour camping. Basically, it's a cop out for real camping where you actually have to turn up and pitch your own tent. It's like you just rock up and someone has a tent there and then they feed you food for breakfast in the morning. And it was really nice. We went the other weekend and you wake up and you're overlooking the sea and it's all nice and coastal and you just get to see all the bright stars and everything else at night because there's no clouds like in London. <laughs> the worst bit was they even had a fire and then they would make the s'mores for you. So it was just like everything was taken care of. You didn't have to even think, which is great. <laughs> I'll have to give that a try sometime because uh, I'm not very outdoorsy. So, you know, glamping might be for me if I, if I get to keep some of my, uh, my city yeah. trappings. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> It turns out, because I like to stay indoors and play video games, that I got pretty good at playing plastic instruments through video games. But you told me you play actual guitar, is that right? Yes, I used to play electric guitar quite a lot. Like back in college, we'd have like a little mini band and we did like charity concerts and it was just all covers and basically any excuse to make lots of loud noises. I'm pretty sure I've kind of damaged my hearing quite savagely from this point, but yeah, it's really good fun. Like nowadays, it's much more calm and I'm just Whenever I get a little bit of downtime or my computer's playing up or I'm installing like a new version of an OS, that's the point I'll pick up the guitar and just like, oh, I'll just play a couple of things. I see. So you're just filling in time. Yes, uh, exactly now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to fill a little bit of time and I'm going to play a plastic you, guitar right now. Are you going to serenade so, me? Yeah. Serenade, yeah. serenade. I'm going to put this thing on right here. Um, I might even just stand up a bit here. So uh, the way it goes is now I, I have to picture like falling bricks on a TV screen in order to be able to play this. That's how I, that's that, how I get in the mode. But I'm going to start out and I'm just going to play a little tune. Um, and go something like that. And then I take it off and I just beat something Smash up it. with it. Yeah. Nice. That's how I do it. But it turns out we have a real guitar here. There if you, you would like to play that, I think our uh, audience oh, would love to see go. that. <laughs> so Matt, would you would you care to play? Oh, so game? this is what the speaker's for. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do this. <laughs> but you're you're doing it right now. Oh, here we go. Like I'm just gonna go for the simplest thing because it's Let's just easy. That's, that's very good, thank you. That's, uh, <laughs> I did not want to do that. Yeah, how about that? Maybe you could teach something to our band director, Nate, over here, who's uh, learning some instruments. Let's rock. He has to work on his musical abilities a little bit. 
drop the Firebase line, bros. All goofing aside, Firebase cloud messaging is uh, available for web apps now, which is kind of a big deal, isn't it? Yeah, so basically, like, the, the backstory of all of this was I used to, I was working with a lot of the Chrome engineering team in London and working with WebPush and just the native support in browsers, which is, like, still fairly new. I think it's, like, a year old, which sounds like a long time, but you've got to go through spec process and get other browsers to implement it and stuff. Um, and one of the biggest issues there was you have to encrypt all the messages that you send. Like, any payload has to be encrypted before you send it, and then you can only send it to one device, not to lots, and you miss certain features like topic support, which FCM has had baked in for like a long time now. So what the FCM Web SDK now has is support where you can just register for an FCM token, and it will use Web Push behind the scenes, but all the complicated stuff happens on the back end, and you're kind of removed from it to a certain extent. Um, and it makes everything a lot easier. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and <clears throat> also, um, uh, FCM was only previously supported on Android and iOS, and now for the web, which brings all three platforms uh, closer in parity to what we want to offer. Yeah, exactly, and it's, it's kind of nice because if you have a backend that's already like taking FCM tokens and sending messages, now you can just add web onto it it's rather than have to kind of worry about building an entirely new push infrastructure just for web. Instead, you can just put all three under the one sort of same roof on your back end, yeah. which is great. Uh, that sounds like it'd be uh, very helpful for developers. And uh, for those of you watching, if you want to watch Matt's video, he'll uh, give you an introduction on how to get started with FCM for the web. Yep, nice, quick, simple, getting started intro. I like the fact that you're upselling my video again, more <laughs> views. <laughs> <laughs> views are good, right? So be sure to click that link in the description. Um, and I have a game to play if you want to do that real fast. Oh, it's, yeah, because uh, you haven't given me enough surprises. No, <laughs> no, not enough surprises. So I call this game Good Cloud Message, Bad Cloud Message. Oh, and here's a series of, uh, of questions. Let's do them one at a time. And uh, we'll show them up on the screen for everyone watching uh, at home. So your job is to tell me, I'll read it out loud. You tell me, is this a good message? Or is it a bad message? Don't don't read ahead. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> we're doing one at a time. I thought I was going to pick my answers. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to ask you for all of these. So imagine there's a message comes up uh, and it says there are 12 new updates from your subscriptions. 12 new updates. Yeah. Is that a good message or a bad message? Uh, I, I guess it depends on what the subscriptions are. Like my gut instinct is like maybe it would be okay. Maybe so, but it, but it's subscriptions, right? The user asked for it. Right. Yeah, so I'm guessing it's good. It's probably good, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it is I a subscription, so. right? Yeah, it's, it's I imagine with stuff. an icon and everything else, I'd get it and it would be sweet. Mm -hmm. So yes, OK. Good. So the next one is uh, simply says, an error occurred and like a frowny face. Well, we all know that's bad because it's like it's completely not for the user in any way, shape, or form. It's like, great, what do I do with that information? Swipe, close, maybe even deny permission to send me more notifications. So yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, what happens if you click this? I don't know, but it's, it's not helpful. Okay, next question is, your order is about to arrive. Please be ready to answer the door, with the assumption that the user did actually order something using whatever. That would be hella creepy if it wasn't. <laughs> it's just like, by the way, we're, gonna come to, we're coming for you. It's like, no. Yeah, useful. Easily useful. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it tells you exactly what's happening at the time it's happening, presumably. Yeah. Okay, so how about uh, this, this next one is uh, celebrate with us at Punkly. It's Independence Day, three exclamation points, and then there's, and I'll, and I'll break this down, some party favors, a balloon, a popped champagne bottle, a couple of, a pints. Couple of beers, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a variety of drinks, two capsules, who knows what's in that, um, a burrito, also don't know what's in that, and a flashing camera. Is this a good message or a bad message? What do I, you think? I'd say it's a bad message. It feels pretty spammy to a certain extent, unless you really friggin' love Punkly. Whatever Punkly is. Yeah, we don't know what it is, but... Uh, I'm gonna say no. I think it's a little bit spammy, too. If I got yeah. this, I wouldn't know what to do with it. But you're kind of like, I know it's Independence Day. It's like, maybe if it was a special offer for Punkly, and it's like, you can get special entry with this voucher. Maybe. Maybe. But why wouldn't but, it just say that, right? If that well, exactly. Good. That's yeah. the thing. This is a bad message if that's the case. <laughs> yeah, let's, we'll just say it's a bad message. And the last question we have, or the last message we have here is, you have 23 new messages from Nate. What's up, dudes? Yeah, I guess it's okay. I mean, it would be better if I knew... Well, I guess if it's 23 new messages, then yeah, they can't tell me what the messages are, but... 
Yeah, it's not yeah. enough room to put that in the message. So it turns out uh, this looks like a good message, but it's actually not a good message. What? Because Nate over there sends me all these forwards of funny emails and internet <laughs> jokes and whatever, and I'm sick of it. I don't want it. I don't want these messages anymore. Well, why so it's a bad message. Why isn't Nate sending me any messages? God <laughs> well, damn it! Well, if you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give him your email address if you want to yes. be on his list. I, I wouldn't recommend. He it, looks so. like he has great taste in comedic emails. <laughs> yeah, he also has great taste in. Bananas. Bananas, but, uh, <laughs> don't touch my so, bananas. <laughs> Love it. Thanks for being on the show, Matt. Thank it you. It was for great having you. having you. Be sure to check out his video. Click the link in the description below. And unfortunately, that's all we have time for. Be sure to stay tuned here on the Firebase YouTube channel. See you next time on Meet Firebase. Bye.